All right, Vincent by Don McLean, just a, a real classic, a very beautiful song. And my arrangement is fairly complex. I'm jumping some octaves and harmonizing and that kind of thing, but I think it's worth it. It's just a lovely song and worth um, adding some variation and it's just a, a joy to play. And definitely inspired by Chet Atkins. So starting out, we have that intro, which I like doing hammer-ons to make it a bit more vocal like. And that's a bit of a stretch between your ring and your pinky, whatever works for you. You can also use the open B string instead, instead of, or just continue. Just be careful with that open G string that you just cut it off in the right way. If you let it ring too much, it can get a little muddy, but I like, I like letting it ring just a little bit. Second half is much like the first. Or... my thumb there. You can also use a finger. And interestingly, it just hits the A7 for a second before changing the A minor. Then again, here we have this little open, open G string. verse. And I'm jumping up an octave for the second verse. And I like ending it by going down an octave to the G to kind of root it. You just have to cut off the G properly. Usually I use the base of my thumb. Now this is a pretty big stretch here. You don't have to do that stretch, you can also play the C like that. Just hit the bass note and do the jump. And harmonize that. Then I added this little, little variation here. You don't need to do that, but. Another little flourish. You can choose to do or not. stretch or okay the next part then uh, still up the octave and I'm actually going to harmonize here in six you can do just the melody or you can do still harmonizing there just follow the vocal line very closely are so important. The e major to E minor. Okay. Now we're into the, uh, uh, basically what is sort of the bridge and sort of the climax of the song. It's where Vincent kills himself. So you want to really bring this out very strongly. Clocks the song. So and you actually change to C minor here. And I usually use my thumb again on the F. You can use a finger. So like that. Ending in the E major. Really follow the vocal line closely. And you can pick through it all. I use a combination of hammer-ons and pull-offs. Like that, but you can pick through it all. And I like letting that dissonance hang between the G and this, this personal taste. 
have to let it hang there. Okay. Now the, the last verse I'm doing um, harmonics, and this is definitely inspired by Chet Atkins, his version. He plays it in an altered tuning. I think he uses dad gat, um, but I'm using regular tuning. And the harmonics, you know, you can instead repeat the third verse, or you can do the harmonics. And as with all with all harmonics, you just want them to ring out as long as you possibly can to get them very clear. And I end up with this G. And I like having open strings lead up to it so I can let it ring as long as possible up until the actual harmonics start. And here, even though the melody note would hit at the same time as the root, I like hitting the root first. So it lets the harmonics stand on its own a bit. And this one, the low string, you know, it's you really want that to stand out because it's very low. And next to the open string next to it, you know, hit it really hard before finishing with the A minor, A minor then again. Again, I'm hitting the root before the melody note. And this is kind of stretch over the 12th fret. If you can do it, then hitting the harmonic there, and then kind of letting that ring while I pick it up down here. This harmony, and again, much the same. Again, the root first. down an octave again. And here again, follow the vocal line. It's uh, slightly varied in the last, so you want to really try to get to know the vocal line. I, I like playing along actually with the vocal to really get it really get under my fingers. Then the final A7 to A minor. Okay, finally ending on the G, and then it harkens back to the very first line like that. All right, so I hope it's useful to you. Uh, definitely a pretty involved song to know, but I think a great one to have in your repertoire. So let me know any comments or questions you might have. Thanks for watching.